Hello. I'm happy to share with you a culture building initiative that we did in Kodak, which helped us discuss growth and also enhance the initial levels of employees. Kodak is a part of 180 year old Java group. Kodak focuses on IT, end to end engineering, and BPO services globally for communication providers. What's interesting is, Kodak has been there for 15 years, but the BPO unit is quite new. And that brought a set of challenges for itself. What we faced is that while we grow, BPO, we want to focus on niche market, not only on outsourcing, we want to get into optimization, transformation, and consultative services. Which is why the retention of employees was critical for us, and also the skill set is critical. What we saw that is that increasing attrition and employee model needs to be kept. Best. It was a good problem statement for us to have culture building at a time where the organization was growing globally and we were expanding into new geographies. The kind of growth we had seen in the past one year was unprecedented. Now within one year, the kind of growth, I don't see any other organization having achieved so much. Now we are a niche segment, we are all over the world, we are growing fast and now we had the challenge of the market where the attrition levels are high, people are not staying with you. You know, you take so much time in building competencies and then you see people going away. How do we handle this? We also had similar problems. We had to handle this. We sat down and we said, no, we need to look at some concrete, you know, well-structured mechanism of ensuring that we have both engaged and productive people with us. How do we do this was a question. What we did was that we brought on the middle management together and we brainstormed what could be the challenges. Instantly, two factors came up. One, the need for enhancing the capabilities. Two, looking forward to come to offers every day it was pretty interesting. What we did, looking forward to come to offers, we put a couple of specific initiatives to address this. It is a simple thing to say, getting people to look forward to come to work. Is it easy? No, maybe yes. We looked around, we saw what is the best way of getting people to look forward to come to work. There was one philosophy which was doing the rounds around the globe for the last 20-30 years and it was very very successful. That's the fish philosophy. We went and looked, looked at it and, and there are some of the things that they do, very simple ways of you know, managing things at work. You know, and we said, let's start with this, let's get people to understand what is this philosophy and let's get this within the organization and we believe that this is something that's going to be working for us as well. We had a workshop and in that workshop, we took people through the fish philosophy, we got, got them to understand what this meant and then we got them to brainstorm as to what are the different things that we can do to represent the fish philosophy itself. And then we had our own fish bond. That's our 30. We launched our own mascot, which is called 30. The 30 is the most popular one now, Palace. The 30 communicates any communication and policies on festivals or anything, so be. And 30 becomes a piece of communication now. Apart from that, we started appreciation corners. Anyone could just walk in and then appreciate his colleague. Being a junior, senior doesn't matter for anything that they did on the floor. Along with that, we also launched a talent snippets. Any employee who had an inherent talent could be drawing, could be painting, could be a poem, a story, could display it at ease. And they could display on the board and appreciation boards went hand in hand. We had a fun at work, though we believe fun at work is an ingredient to the whole operations. We spent some fun at Friday, Fridays where the entire team de-stressed with games. We also have festivals happening there with ethnic wares. Interestingly, we nominated a CFO, Chief Fun Officer, who not only gets the feedback from the floor, but ensures that all the initiatives are run on specified time. We went beyond to hear them. We launched our own portal called We Are There. And We Are There portal can enable the employee to address any issue. Could it be HR, could it be delivery leaders, could it be senior management with three layers. Anything which has not been addressed in both layers were addressed to senior management that we were part of it. And I'm happy to share that. It's a tremendous success. And then within two days, we could respond to any queries that was raised. We built our own anthem. And this was completely conceptualized 
build some by guys a two minute video which talk, talks about the team wellness. We also had started communicating to town halls, one to one skip levels, so the communication forum was always open. And that's how we looked at this problem statement. These are all very simple initiatives which all of us would have heard about. Several organizations do this. Then why are we different? Why are we different at all? Why should we be claiming these as some great initiatives which actually led to culture change? The only difference is the depth to which do we go, the, the extent to which we believe in what we are doing, and the connect between all these dots as to how it connects to larger culture building in the organization, how it now ends up in us creating a fun-filled environment, not just about having fun off work, but it's about having fun as you're working. That is something that we want to bring about and we believe we have brought about. The results are there to show. The other one, in terms of building the capability of employees, how we did this, we picked up a few high potential guys and started investing on them for potential growth. We not only look at domain expertise, we also look at soft skills in building them. We also got a veteran, a telecom specialist on telecom who knows about telecom fundamentals and trained our entire employees on it. Two set of advantage of that. One, the employee's career is looked at a certification as a key one on telecom basics. Two, the comfort level in doing the process was much more and they could feel the end customer empathy while they transact. We also built a customer a process experience lab where anyone could feel, touch and feel a copper or a fiber to so feel connected to the process and this made immense value to the business because we focus specifically on communication. Looking back at the last six months, we, we had done a lot. Right? Uh, initially, we had never even imagined that the results will take just this much time to come. But we saw within six months time 70% attrition cut, which is again to me at least unprecedented. And uh, the only learning for us is you know, once you come in with uh, a lot of sincere efforts, once you know what you are headed for, and once you have a good team supporting you, once you get the entire team involved in the process, you are going to be succeeding. The only reason I would say we succeeded is getting our mid management and the senior management coming together getting them involved in everything that was happening and then the other thing having a chief fund officer around you know, from amongst our engineers who came in and ensured that all the initiatives have the buy-in of all our engineers this ensured that we had a great result and we're looking forward to a great next year as well they put up leds on the floor it's constantly communicating about our communications or anything on policies or any festival events or anything which is important, which may be closer to our employees. Let me share with you, our results were tremendous. We were able to reduce 70% of the attrition which happened. Not only that, we have built such a robust employee engagement framework that tomorrow, when we grow up organically or inorganically, globally, we can replicate and this is a sustainable model. That's our success. Thank you.